Hey, it's Danny from Cultures Calisthenics. So, is it possible to eat one meal a day in combination with eating a raw vegan diet? So, yeah, as you can see, I've got a lovely durian. It's known as the world's smelliest fruit or the stink fruit. One of my favourite fruits and foods in the whole world. It's in season at the moment in Thailand. And, yeah, I've got some Mahajanuk mangoes, one of my favourite. They peel like a banana, super smelly. Sweet, strong aroma and lovely bananas as well. So yeah, what I would say is, yes, you can eat a raw vegan diet and also combine it with eating one meal a day on a raw vegan diet. But what I say is, I would not advise it to the majority of people because the majority of people are just gonna find it too hard. Sorry about that background noise, there's a dog down there that's drinking some really dirty water. I wouldn't advise that dog, it's probably full of parasites and bad bacteria and all sorts of things. So yeah, back on track. Because, yeah, for most people, they're not going to be able to sustain it long term. Could it be good to do it for a short period of time? Yes. I don't see why not to give you some really good detoxification benefits. Because, yeah, fruit is one of the easiest things to digest. It's really high in fiber. It's one of the highest water content foods out there that you can possibly eat. And it's just really good for cleansing the body and allowing the body to cleanse itself. Due to the reasons that I've just mentioned. And also due to other reasons as well. And yeah, one of the reasons why it's going to be hard for most people to eat one meal a day on a raw vegan diet, more specifically the 80-10-10 diet, which some people call the fruitarian diet, the high carb, low fat, raw vegan diet, is yeah, most people are going to find it hard enough to eat enough calories within one sitting. Because yeah, these foods, the majority of them, are very high in water content, which means the amount of calories you get from them, you'd have to eat a lot, much larger quantity in comparison to if you was eating rice. So if you've got a huge one meal of mangoes and you're doing mono meal, and so you need a thousand calories, and then you compare it to a thousand calories of white rice, the white rice is gonna be a lot smaller in quantity. So yeah, for most people, they don't feel that they can eat loads of food in one sitting. So eating a fruit, Based diet. It's going to even make it even harder to get enough calories within one sitting with your one meal a day. So that is the number one reason why it's not going to work for a lot of people. And yeah, I could do it myself, but I would need to be eating lots and lots of durian. I've done it before and at one meal in a day and just eaten an abundance of durian, but loads and loads and loads of durian. And most people don't have access to durian. And a lot of people that do it won't even be able to afford the amount you need to eat within my sitting because I eat thousands and thousands of calories. Maybe you wouldn't, but I do. And yeah, the second one is there is nutritional flaws within this diet. Every diet has nutritional flaws. So yeah, to get all of your nutritional needs met, even more so on this diet that is very restricted to certain specific foods because you normally stick to fruit, vegetables, and you don't eat any vegetables whatsoever. You eat green leafy vegetables, more specific in the lettuce family and fruits. As you can see, yeah, it's gonna give you an abundance of specific nutrients, micronutrients we're more speaking about rather than macronutrients. But yeah, it's also, yeah, missing a lot of things. It's very low in selenium, this diet, very low in iodine, chromium, zinc, and many other different nutrients that are essential nutrients for your mind and body to function optimally holistically. And I'm someone that has a lot of experience with the raw vegan diet. I ate this way for almost around two years and I ended up with nutritional deficiencies long term on this diet after a year of being on this diet. So yeah, that's something that you need to be very, very aware of because yeah, if you run into nutritional deficiencies, you're just not gonna start to feel good at all and it's gonna have some very negative effects on your health. So yeah, what I try and recommend to people is try and eat a vegan whole foods plant-based diet. But if you're not drawn to that, I know some people that eat a ketogenic diet that's fine or a paleo diet, do what works for you and you feel naturally drawn to eat. But yeah, I found what works best for me and my clients to give them the most optimal health is eating a whole foods plant-based vegan diet. And by not restricting yourself just to raw foods and having all these different cooked foods as well on a vegan diet, you can make sure you're getting the broadest spectrum of nutrients possible. But like I said, every diet has nutritional flaws. So if you're also 
going to be someone that does embark on the one meal a day diet journey on, uh, as a raw vegan or even as a cooked vegan, you want to be taking a multi-nutrient supplement that has the most bioavailable forms of each nutrient within the supplement with nothing toxic added to it. And you also want to be making sure that you're getting some added iodine supplementation because every multi-nutrient supplement is too low in iodine to meet your needs. And also an EPA and DHA microalgae based omega-3 supplement to make sure that you are getting all of the nutrients that you need. And you cannot rely on food alone in today's world to meet all of your nutritional needs because most food out there pretty much is so low in nutrients compared to 50 odd years ago. And you can search that up online and see the comparison, for example, oranges to like 50 years or so ago to now and they have around eight times less vitamin C in them and you cannot just rely on organic and biodynamic produce because even a lot of that does not have all the nutrients in abundance in the soil that it needs to be in the food and if it's not in the soil it's not in the food and it's not going within your body and I'm bitten bitten by mosquitoes really badly there's some leopard mosquitoes around which are the worst they're really small you hardly see them at all and they sting a lot so that's why I'm wriggling around a little bit so sorry about that so yeah, this is just something to be mindful of. And yeah, there are some people out there that eat a raw vegan diet and eat one meal a day, but I don't know many that have been doing it for years and years and years. Uh, so the percentage of people doing it for a long period of time and that are thriving on it is such a small percentage compared to so many people that have done it on a vegan, whole foods, plant-based vegan diet, and even on a ketogenic diet, paleo diet, and all these other different types of diets are not vegan as well. So yeah, just be very mindful of this. And yeah, if you're someone that is gonna do it, make sure you're getting as many green leafy vegetables that are tender green leafy vegetables, more from the lettuce family. And you ideally wanna be having a pound to two pounds of greens a day because greens are a lot higher in minerals than fruit. So again, you can make sure you're getting as much of the broadest spectrum of nutrients possible because so many people on the vegan diet that is the fruit-based one more run into mineral deficiency issues rather than vitamin deficiency issues because there's more of a lack of those specific nutrients in this diet. And yeah, there's been some people that have contacted me recently that are eating this way and they're doing so well. So yeah, good on you. If it's working for you, then do it. But it's not something that I'm gonna to recommend to my clients or to people around me whatsoever for the reasons that I've explained earlier on in this video. So yeah, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know down below. What's your experience with this? Do you have any? If not, well, if you do, then please leave it down. If not, then don't, obviously. <laughs> and yeah, if you have any questions for me, leave them down below. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on specific topics such as one meal a day and intermittent fasting informational videos. Also showing you, I will be in many videos, what I eat in a day on my one meal a day plant-based vegan diet, what I do in a day calisthenics workout and progression videos and many other different videos to inspire you and motivate you to push yourself to achieve the body desired, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. And also teach you the information to get there and sustain it long-term in the best ways possible. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click that bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube, is not going to notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.